Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I have a package. It is Christmas in October and I can't wait to unbox this for you all because I know you guys love unboxings. So now today we have something that I have been dying for. As you can tell from the description box below, this is the 7-in-1 automated mug press from Heat Press Nation. Let's get to unboxing and let's set this thing up. So go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I don't know what you're waiting for because this is the place to be for all behind the scenes of starting a business, growing a business, giving you helpful tips and everything else. So let's get into it. So since you are here, you want to help me do an unboxing? Sure. Alrighty, let's get it. You too short. Can they even see your face <laughs> over the box? I gotta stand on my tippy toes. I can't find my box cutter, so I'm using this. Watch your fingers. Mm -hmm. Let me get it open, and you're gonna show everybody those big strong muscles you have. Mm -hmm. Big strong muscles. Big strong muscles. When I was at school the other day, I, was, I picked up a whole entire chair and held it up. Oh wow, you picked up a whole entire chair. I'm real strong. You're real strong. Oh my goodness, I can't get into this box. They have this seal really tight. I can get it because I'm so strong. If you if you, I you, need you a box try using your nail. No, I don't want to mess up my nails. They're already jacked up. Can you see over it? Yeah, I can. I can kind of see it. There it is, y'all. What is it? It's a mug press oh really it's a mug press i can't oh wait i got this part out and then we got this this thing is heavy <laughs> you got a heavy one y'all so i'm gonna take all of the cushions out oh it's big uh, kaden move the box pull the box down move the box i'm scared Move the box. Move the box. Oh. Wait, let me get the instructions. So I'm going to unwrap this, set this up. This is a seven in one mug press, but all the attachments are on back order, so we have to wait for the attachments. Oh, bummer. I thought they told me only the tumbler attachment was on um was on back order. So I'll have to do a whole nother video, but I'm going to go ahead and set this up. <laughs> they have it wrapped really well, but this is the mug press. I'll go over all the features and specs. It only comes in place with the I think that's the this one fits the 11 and 15 ounce mugs all the other attachments will come separately boy it was rolling off I was trying to stop it trying to let kids be in here come on now can I go now you're bored already <laughs> bye because you're now. distracting at least he helped me take it out the box Okay, so I'm going to read the instructions first. I'm really disappointed. I really thought I was going to get all the other attachments um, other than the tumbler attachment. So the power cable goes right over here on the side just like that. You get a handle and you'll need to screw this in right over here. Okay, nice and tight. So this is the HPN Signature Series 7-in-1 Automated Sublimation Mug and Tumbler Press. It has four-point pressure systems that will allow you to adjust the pressure for when you're pressing your mugs. You can just adjust each of the knobs like so to make it tighter or looser. 
and it gives even pressure throughout the entire pressing. So you'll just close the device just like this and it has a silicone padded design. Now the press platen that comes in here is your standard 11 and 15 ounce to press your 11 ounce and 15 ounce mugs and you'll be able to put in all the other attachments using these holes and I'm assuming that you'll just screw them in. I can't wait for the rest of them to come. But since I only have this one first, this is the one we'll be talking about. This is a steel frame design. Whole thing is really solid, made out of steel. It says it's about 37 pounds and I believe it. This will attach right over here. You make sure that you have the points lined up. I'm just gonna turn it just so you guys can see it. Just like that. And then you'll screw that tight in place. And since we're over here, let's talk about this dual display temperature and timer gauge. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. It has an automatic timer and alarm that will set and notify you when you're finished pressing your mugs that will go off, just like any other HPN Signature Series line. So I love that about it. I can already smell it heating up. The temperature ranges from zero to 415 degrees. So you can press up to 415 degrees for any mug or tumbler. Now the HPN Signature Mug Press comes standard with the 11 and 15 ounce mug press. It's a full grade A mesh heating element. It's, I'm not gonna touch it now because it is starting to heat up, but this thing will get hot and you'll be able to supplement small graphics as well as top to bottom full bleed graphics. And that will definitely come in handy when we get those tumblers. To set the timer, you'll just hit okay. The first one will prompt you whether you want Fahrenheit or Celsius. I'm gonna keep it on Fahrenheit. Now you can set the timer. I'm gonna go up to 400 degrees. And then you can set your seconds, how many seconds you want it to be on. I normally press my mugs for three minutes, 30 seconds. So that's 210 seconds. So now I'm going to let that heat up. This will beep when it's 400 degrees and then it'll press for 210 seconds. I'm going to go and prep my mug. Okay, so it's another day. I'm back. I paused the video and I restarted it because... All of my attachments finally came. When I opened the box up, I was like, what in the world? I thought the attachments were going to be with it except this one, but all of them shipped separately. So this is the total seven in one mug press automated system. I'm so excited. Now you can buy the machine standard with just the 11 and 15 ounce. If you don't need anything else, you can purchase it just alone, just like this. Or you can upgrade to a 4-in-1, and I believe the 4-in-1 is just these back three with that. That would be the 4-in-1, or you can purchase the 7-in-1, which is everything you see here. And I'm going to break down what it all comes with. I'm just so excited because the tumbler attachment came, and I thought it was going to be shipped um, in November, but it finally came. So I just want you all to know I purchased this myself. The video is not sponsored, but... If you do purchase using my link, you would definitely help support my channel. So use the link down below. And right now they are doing a Black Friday 10% off on certain mug presses. So definitely go check out Heat Press Nation while things are 10% off. So now with the seven in one, of course you get your shot glasses. So I won't hardly be doing shot glasses, but you know, you never know. It didn't make sense for me to get the four in one versus the seven in one because it was literally only, I think like, a few dollar difference so it just made sense for me to get the seven in one because you just never know this one is for three ounce mugs really small mugs this one is your latte attachment i was always using my little oyster sublimation oven so i have some mugs for you and i'm going to break down all the sizes so that way you'll be able to see exactly what fits in what we're gonna see what all can fit Ooh, that's hot because I just did that one. Okay, so I don't have any shot glasses. I don't have any three ounce mugs, but I do have a latte mug. So this one is the latte mug. It can fit your 12 and I believe this one fits the 17 ounce as well. So we're going to see which one. So this one is your 12 ounce and I will be switching out the platens as well. 
So you would definitely have to put it in this way and then it would tighten up. Oh, and that fits the 12 ounce perfectly. That's a 12 ounce latte mug. See that? That fits perfectly. Now let's see if it fits the 17 ounce. It might be the bigger one. So that one isn't for the 17 ounce. This one would be, yep, for the 17 ounce. That is perfect. So if you're doing 17 ounce latte mugs, this is a perfect size for a full bleed 17 ounce latte mug. That's for that one. And of course, now this one isn't a sublimation tumbler, but you know, same size. This is still a 20 ounce skinny. This one fits 16 ounce, 20 ounce, and 30 ounce tumblers, wall to wall, full bleed. So this one is no more putting them in the oven if you don't want to. So now I'm going to push it all the way back because you see how much space you have left. So it can fit a 30 ounce. So now let's get some different shapes. Let's get some different shapes. Now this one is your, your camp mug. This is an 11 ounce. The camp mugs, 11 ounce and 12 ounces, they can fit in here. But you would have to put where this lip falls off and we're gonna, sup we're gonna supplement this. So let's go, I'm gonna get my designs. And you would definitely, yep, I don't want to do it now because it's on. So I'm going to put my designs on the mugs, and then we're going to press some mugs tonight and see how they come out. So I printed out some designs. This is for a little luggage tag that you have to watch the next video and see. But I have a lot of different little designs. Of course, I don't like wasting no sublimation paper. So that's why you see it on here. So we're gonna press the latte mugs and, um, and get it popping. Cause I've never pressed the latte mug on here. Okay, so I will supplement, since I have an order, I'm gonna supplement the 11 ounce, since that's the one that's in there first making sure my design is straight and centered. Normally I supplement the name on here as well, but for the sake of time, I'm just going to, um, I'm just gonna add the name in vinyl when I'm done. Butcher paper you can get from Amazon, you can get it from Sam's Club. I got a huge roll from, um, off of Amazon and I have never ran out yet since I bought it. So just make sure that's really tight. Heat transfer tape. And I'm just gonna put this one in. This is the standard attachment. Now I have my temperature set for 385, 230 seconds. It's about three minutes, 45 seconds or something like that. You wanna make sure that does not move. That is nice and tight. These are your pressure points right here where you can adjust your knobs to make sure um, it's secure and tight. So when you have a 15 ounce in here, you'll loosen that up to make sure it's snug for the 15 ounce. I'm gonna go ahead and finish wrapping these. Let's see which one I'm gonna put on here while that one is preparing. I guess I'll go ahead and do this one on here. I'm gonna do it front and back. Beats, let you know it's done. And I'm just gonna remove that. Okay. I'm not gonna touch it because it is very hot. It's the first time I'm pressing in this mug press for my 11 ounce. And look at that, that came out so nice. No ghosting whatsoever. I am so happy with my new mug press. 
It came out really nice. All right, I'm gonna set that aside, let that cool off, and we're gonna wrap the next one. Oh, but we need to change out the platen. So to change out the platen, I'm gonna cut it off. Okay, I'm gonna put on some heat, heat gloves because of course this is hot. So as always, use safety first. Make sure you use heat resistant gloves. I got mine off of Amazon, which will be linked down below. Turn off the machine. You won't lose that much time because it does heat up really fast. And if it's already hot, it takes no time at all. So just drop in your next platen, align it with the holes in the machine, lock it in place, and you're ready to supplement your next size. And I meant to show, this is the 15 ounce mug that would have went in the other one. So this is the 15 ounce mug. This is a nice one with the black inside, black handle. This one you can use for the one I just took out as well. So I'm just securing the butcher paper front and back. Nice and tight while that is heating up. Only the latte mugs require this much tape because, you know, of the curve. So I'm gonna wait for that to heat up all the way. Okay, it's ready to go. So now I'm just going to slide this in this way. It's really weird. I wanna make sure it's nice and snug. And that is a really tight fit. Okay, that one is all done. Ah! Okay, so the latte mug, you have to catch it. <laughs> Make sure you grab it because it, it's on a slant. Okay. This is the first time I'm actually doing this design front and back on a latte mug. So Ooh. I love the way that looks mom life. I got some yellowing over here. I've never seen that. Front and back. And I got that pretty much even. Trying to pretty much, pretty much, just a little off. But that looks really nice. Of course, this will be mine. So that's that one. I'm going to switch this out again. So that way we can do the 17 ounce. Going to put on some gloves. And we're gonna do the same thing. Just trying to show you different sizes. And now I'm gonna put in the 17 ounce. So I'm gonna drop that in. I'm gonna lock this in. You find the holes, line it up with the holes and just screw it in. Okay, this one is ready. I'm gonna slide it in just like that. I'm gonna make sure the handle is up. And I'm going to close. That's nice and tight. Okay, this one is ready. Woo, steaming, steaming. I'm gonna take this one off and see how this one did. Oh yeah, that came out so nice. That one came out perfect. World's best mom. 17 ounce latte mug. That one is nice. That came out so nice. Okay, okay. All right, so here you have it. These are all of the mugs that I pressed tonight. Just using this one so far. So before I end the video, I also wanted to show how I pressed this water bottle. I believe it's like a 16 or a 20 ounce water bottle and it's not a full wrap, but you still will need to rotate the bottle. So I pressed it at 
375 degrees, 70 seconds each side, and it came out so nice. I have another video where I did some tumblers and I pressed it too hot, but um, this one came out perfectly. So the tumbler attachment comes in so handy. So I just wanted to show you that, but I do have some other videos coming up where I'll do full wrap tumblers as well for sublimation. But check how this came out. I sent my son a video of it and he was so thrilled. Of course, because it's Roblox. So if you're looking for a great heat press and you're looking for a multi-press that can press a lot of different sizes and tumblers for your business, you definitely need to check out Heat Press Nation. Check out my link down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for all behind the scenes of my business. And I will be doing a lot more presses now, doing some tumblers. So I have that coming up. And in my next video, I'm going to be pressing campers. I'm going to be pressing water bottles. So you definitely want to see how I do that as well. All with this new signature series. I hope this video was helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, if you want to know where I got some of these designs from like this, you can get these designs as well for just $1, $1 right now, Creative Fabrica. I'm going to do a full video on this website because they have awesome designs. They have layouts, they have backdrops, they have everything you need. It's a one-stop shop. They have fonts, bundles, so instead of buying things separately, every single time from like etsy or trying to come up with your own designs just go to creative fabrica i think i'm saying it right i'm gonna have it linked down below you can use my link down below and right now you can sign up for all access for everything unlimited downloads for one dollar a month and then you can renew for a special price if you use my link for 19 dollars. it's normally 29 dollars, but it is so worth it when i say the first time i went on this website i went download crazy just downloading everything so i know a lot of people always say where do you get your designs from so i used to make designs myself um i still do but i used to buy designs every now and then separately on etsy the same designs that's on etsy is on this site why go to Etsy and purchase one at a time? $2 here, $2 there. No, $1 will get you everything for one month and then you can renew for $19, um, for $19, but you can cancel. But you can get awesome designs. And I mean, for every holiday, every season, every occasion, you name it, they have it. They have over 3 million designs. So that link will be down below. You can check that out. Go check out Heat Press Nation, guys, and I will see you in the next video. It's late. Have a good night. Bye.